Well, hello to everybody. My name is Vlad A4. Let Serioga. Sir, we're gonna finish this with you. This is my pig. His name is Takini. <laughs> in short, you guys, we decided to spend the next day in these tree houses. And we built them yourselves. And it took us three days. Three. But look what a beauty that this turned out. We have already become adults, big ones and we know how to make them and in short it'll be fun i suggest you spend this day with us it's clear well damn put a like for such these chic houses who will be the first to shut their house me 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 i have a very cool technologically advanced house i put so much in there and it was very hard to build but i did it Hey there, what is that? A dish? Yeah, I brought the TV here, guys. I even have satellite internet and a TV. I'll be the best neighbor because I'll even give you the Wi-Fi password. I've got everything with me. The only thing I, I got to do is just unpack them and put them inside the house. So what is this cool room right here? Yeah, I have high tech. High tech? High tech. You have some kind of village tech? And I have high tech. Don't insult my house, man. I have coziness, comfort. You're gonna be stunned. You can call it a VIP apartment. <sighs> Guys, welcome to my tree house. Oh, dang, I forgot to open the door. Oh, this is my mistake. My door opens, by the way, in a very interesting way. Still a little more work to do with this door. As you can see, my house looks very simple, but I have another friend with me. And I haven't given this chicken a name yet. Therefore, you can write your own version in the comments. I'll accept everything. So, look, let's go there. I have a lawn here under the house, and this is for my zucchini. Come on, zucchini. Oh, oh, it's a yard. And that's it. And my zucchini won't run away, I hope. Let me tell you what will happen around the house. I'll have a table over there. Well, you know, to eat, have a picnic, to sit around some chairs. Of course, I have firewood with me. The stick is in case some wild animals want to get to know my pets. I'll have them quickly. But if the stick doesn't help, I have a trap. A hunting one, a real one. So I'll put it here somewhere too. And a cast iron pot to cook. Well, if it gets boring, I'll punch someone with it. And here I have a whole box of all sorts of things for the house. And this, and this, and this. I'll bring it all inside. Well, my approach is very simple. I spend a lot of money and bought everything. I have the most expensive materials, the most expensive products, and the most interesting things for the house. Only well, damn, there are so many of them that I don't even somehow understand how to bring it all in. Well, okay, in parts. Oh, and if you didn't know, it's a refrigerator. Well, you like you throw ice in there, food in there, and it all doesn't melt. There must be a staircase, absolutely. It's like this, with a veranda. To come out there in the morning like this and be like, ah, oh, how do these poor neighbors live there? I see, I see, and back into the house. Okay, here I have two puppy bags to lie down on and relax. If anything, they'll be the bed too. I have two small tables here. Well, and on the left, I have a door that leads to my neighbor. That's where Vlad A4 lives. You guys have finally figured out his address. Here, of course, I have a laptop. Also, I took headphones with me. I also took the monitor with me, but I'll use it as a TV. And well, if it gets really boring in here, I can invite a friend and we can play a little PlayStation 5. Say hello to my little friend. And also, in order to keep from getting bored in the evenings, I brought a speaker with me. We'll listen to music with the boys. Well, or by myself. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys the most important thing. I brought an extension cord with me because I have electricity in here. In short, I took the generator with me. You guys get that? Right there. It burns fuel and it gives off electricity. Eco-friendly. I also brought a surveillance camera with me so that no one can get into my house without my permission. A power drill? Of course, you need to do the lighting in your home. Therefore, I took this kind of LED tape. Also, for complete relaxation in nature, I also brought with me a hammock. Okay, I've got everything ready. And now we just have to connect this and we'll have a super modern tree house. Let's do this. Well, I have the surveillance camera installed. Now, let me go around and show you the house. 
All right, let's close the door and welcome to Casa de la Gent. On this side of the wall, I have this cool LED strip. It's gonna be super beautiful at night. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see it. And now there's a monitor, it's a TV, PlayStation 5 is connected. I could spend a whole week here, let alone 24 hours. Look what I have here. The chicken will live with me. And by the way, the chicken works for me as an alarm system. If any predator sneaks up, she will start clucking and I will immediately notice the danger. Let's see what we have in the box here. First, the high chair. Water. Also, I have the sleeping bag like this one. And my food is stored in a portable refrigerator like this one. There are sausages and fish. Also, I have these pickle jars. Look, there are a lot of them here. There are different mushrooms, tomatoes, pickles, plastic plates. And this is a fishing net. I brought it with me just in case we go fishing. And of course, I took the tools because you never know what will happen. Something will need to be patched up, repaired. Well, just like the boys, I have a door here, at least to Vlad's house. This is so we can visit each other. Yo, yo, yo. Now mine and the mansions look like this. Remember like this. So far, there's nothing here. There is only such a chic leather sofa. Well, the awesome view from the window. A golf club. Horns. I'll put it here, you know. In these major houses, they always do like this. This is a ring lamp so I can record some TikToks, you know what I mean? And to hang up some clothes, you guys. Facts, TikTokers. Smelly sticks. That's what everyone does too, the rich ones. Plates, tablecloth for the table. I also have this kind of cover for the, my green screen. An umbrella. I have an apartment with a terrace. My golf suit. It's a duvet for a rug. Let's see. All sorts of construction supplies. Cups. Spray paint with gold. And dry shampoo. Well, like you spray it in your hair and it like becomes clean. You don't have to wait for the rain to wash them up. And sunscreen. All sorts of things to make some cocktails. Barbecue tongs. Well, okay, let me show you what I have in the refrigerator, you guys. Well, quickly with one eye. It's syrup, if anything. Now it looks like this. Give me a second and I'll put everything back in order. Wow! Look, I have a place for filming up in here. I can be anywhere I want. On the beach, in the mountains, in the desert, in space, and even underwater. That's how gorgeous my sofa looks. A dressing room, well, and a neatly tidy table. Well, the highlight of the program is my terrace. Woohoo! When I moved out from my parents' this place, I didn't even dream of such a thing. Everyone keeps asking, why do I work so hard, you guys? Views, integrations, merge, apps. In fact, I just have a dream, you guys. I just went to the house for myself, an ordinary house made of money. In the meantime, I have this. My first home. Ugh. Guys, Serioga, Glenn. Yeah, what? I'm inviting you to a housewarming party. Oh, cool. No problem. We'll be right there. And don't forget about the gift. It's a housewarming party. Okay, just a minute. Come on, come on, come on. That's Vlad's idea. What kind of gifts? I don't even know what to give him. Oh, by the way. Maybe I'll give him a plan. There's a housewarming theme, and in principle, I won't look like a fool. I'll take a cup with me, and I'll go prepare a gift for Vlad. I'll invite him to a housewarming party later, too. Let's see what kind of gifts he'll give me. B-E-A, beautiful. And I didn't even have to go that far. Look at the root I found here. This, in some ways, even resembles a money tree. Consider it a gift of money. Awesome. Well, I think this is a normal gift. It even looks somehow decent. I need binoculars, I need this, this too. I think everything I have at home is what I need. Oh, by the way, I remember, there is such a sign to let animals in a housewarming party so the happiness comes to the house. I definitely won't let him have a chicken, but a pig, my zucchini, in principle, can be given to him. Happiness in the house. Oh, 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 careful. Oh, I hear somebody's coming. Seryoshka. Oh, hello. Here, look, this is happiness for you in the house. The animal at the housewarming is allowed first. Come on, Tsukini, go, go, go. I see. Yes, this gift is great, sir. Super, thank you. Hello, happy housewarming. This is my gift. It's a money tree. Um, super, thank you. What kind of nonsense? Look after my pet for now, okay? No, I'm not giving it to you. I just brought him in like that. Then I'll leave with him. In my opinion, sir, good gifts work differently. Well, happiness will come to you. You'll see. Wait a bit. Did you give me some positive energy? Yeah, this is the best and greatest energy. Well, okay, I agree. The topic about gifts has just come up, and I was just thinking. When viewers subscribe to our channel, when they make the red button gray, it's a 
gift for us, you guys, really. It's a gift for themselves. And why is it a gift to themselves? Well, look, have you noticed how the quality of our videos has grown? How often do we release them? It's just like we're already making movies. And this is all because you subscribe to our channel, you guys. I've just realized now that this gives us strength and resources to create and create videos. Each subscription is like a brick in the quality of future videos, you guys. Think about it, you can really influence this. And I'm wondering myself, you guys, if you all right now subscribe. Those who are not subscribed to us, imagine what kind of videos will start coming out. It'll be just crazy, you guys. Moreover, it's summer. We have so much energy and so many cool ideas. Only missing thing is your support, you guys. Do it at last. Subscribe to the channel and make a gift not only to us, but also to yourself, you guys. Do you all have fun? Get lit. Always in a great mood. And look, it's zucchini. It's settled normally. You're just incredible. The baby is a trinket. Wait, are you hitting the discovery cough? No, it's just boring here. No music. By the way, guys, I have music at home. Come on, right after this housewarming, come on right over. Only with gifts, though. I have a speaker there and a PlayStation. PlayStation? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll go. Don't forget about the gifts. By the way, dudes, how about cocktails? I've got everything we need for it. What do you want? Well then, as a guest, I guess I'll take a cocktail with coconut. And I'm okay with anything. Let's start making them then. How do the bartenders do this? Oh wait. We take a little bit of Sprite. Lemon concentrate. I think a little bit of cranberry syrup would be appropriate. Yes. Was there any coconut in that thing at all? And now there will be. So now all of this needs to be shaken up. Shake it. This shaker, by the way, is by A4. They are sold in stores or on the website a4shop.ru. Come on, it's like we're shooting rap video. Okay, so now because the cook can't hear, it smells like trash. Yeah, yeah. Is the cocktail ready? What can I hear? <laughs> now, this thing smells really strange. Listen, Vlad, what are these strange straws? What do we do with them? Seriously, these are smelling things. Sniff them. Oh, and I was like, that's some strange smell. Straws, green, yellow, and blue, an umbrella. Up, oh, get your cocktails, boys. And it's party time. Woo Let's sit down and try at the same time and record the reaction. Listen, so it's all juices at once in one glass. Multi fruit? And coconut, too. It's not a fruit. Multi fruit with coconut, yeah. I think I would rate this thing a good six out of ten. Well, let's see what kind of surprise you have for us with yours. Don't forget about the gifts, and I'll go prepare the house and make sure it's all in order to meet guests. It's a pity I don't have a second pick. Otherwise, as it were, you can give it a second time. The gift is the same. Bye bye. So, damn, I need to give Glenn something, too. I already gave Vlad the most budget friendly and original gift. Oh, what? Take a look! The hen laid the eggs! Well done! I'll take one egg from you. I will give Glenn not just an egg, but a chicken. The main thing is that it hatches the egg correctly, and then you will have a chicken like me, or maybe a rooster. Hmm, by the way, there is an idea of what to give Glenn. The gift will be just as interesting as the one that he gave to me. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, who's there? Sidiyoshka has come. Hello. Come on, hello. Wow, your door is opening. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's Vladik, right? Yeah, that's me, hello. Hey guys, have a seat. Welcome to my tree house. Whoa, look, he's got a straight tree. The design is awesome. Where did you buy it? What? A pillar? Yeah, it's a tree. Oh. Well, a tree house. Where are the gifts? Hold on. Gifts. This is this is a gift I gave you. No, why didn't you take it? It's the same flower. Exactly the same. Now, Glenjik, I think we just bought it in the same store. I'm giving you some money tree here. Yes, for you. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I was very happy about your gift, too. All right, Serega, what are you going to give me? I'll give you a chicken. But it's an egg. This is an egg from which a chicken or a rooster will hatch later. When you play games, put it under yourself. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, let's play now. Come on. Okay, guys, so you can play. I'm gonna work on my laptop for a little bit. So you guys have been playing for 20 minutes already. Let's do something. Let's go to Sir Jay's for a housewarming party. Um, maybe we'll go there later. I need to chop wood there. And by the way, I have a zucchini hungry there. I'll go and feed it, okay? 
Some strange behavior, don't you think? Seems like everyone's at a house ring party except for Saraga. It's time to play golf. What else to do when you live near a field and you have your own house there? Play golf. Ah, uh, it's already getting boring in this house. We should at least turn on some music. <sighs> oh, the party's just beginning. Well, that's a great golf course. The main thing is to stand properly. And what kind of music is this? I don't like it. Golf should be played in silence. Ugh, damn, it's impossible to concentrate with all of this noise. Glenn, turn it down! Glenn, can't you hear? What's going on? What do you think you're doing to my house? Why did you turn on the music so loudly? I can't play. No, all right. Where is it? I'm gonna go rest on the hammock. Mmm, <sighs> perfect. Ah, uh, that's what I wanted. Outdoor recreation. So, everything is ready for the bonfire. Oh yeah, it's necessary to kindle something. Ugh, ugh, what a mess with this chicken. Uh, it hit me in the nose even. Ugh, damn, and the matches are at my house. Vlad has smelly sticks? Then I'll have to ask him later. In the meantime... <gasps> matches found, now off to Vlad. Glenn came out of the hut. So I have a plan. Now you'll see everything. I'll fill it all. <sighs> Fresh air. It, you bastard, you won't bother me anymore. Hello, Vlad, are you here? Oh, he's not at home. Well, okay, I think he won't mind if I borrow these sticks from him. I'll quickly air it out at my place, and that's it. Okay, careful. So, boy, does my house stink so much? I don't understand. My sticks were here. Oh, I think the wind blew them out of way. So, I don't understand. It stinks with something. Uh, Serioga! Listen, did you steal my sticks? No, I didn't steal them, I just borrowed them. And then I will return them. Awesome, so gay, you took it without asking. But you weren't at home. Well, now my house all stinks. You went in there, and now there's your farmer smell in there. Glint, Glint. Guys, what happened? Serial got climbed into my house and he stole all of my sticks in there. Oh, let me go check mine too now. I'll see if he stole something from me as well. I didn't even go there. Maybe he did. And where's the speaker? Sariga, where did you take the speaker? Why do I need your speaker? I feel good in nature. I've returned the speaker to its base. Oh, it's still connected. We're taking it off pause. Wait, this isn't your house, Sariga. Sound is from this house. I'm in the toilet. In what toilet? Return the speaker to its base. You're still calling Sariga a rat? Okay, neighbor, don't come to my house anymore. Well, you... Uh, come on, you two, get out of here. What a situation. Well, I got great friends, of course. One is better than the other. I thought I'd share dinner with them, but as a result, I don't want to see them. I'm going to order myself some food for delivery. For example, pizza. Hello? Hey, listen, we're in the treehouse right now, and I want a double pepperoni. Ah, uh, the street. Can I send the geolocation? Hello? Oh, the call dropped. Apparently, they don't deliver here. Then I'll offer Vlad to feed me as an apology for stealing the speaker. That's a great idea. So, it seems like it's not enough spiciness. Well, add a little pepper there. The soup will be ready soon. Mm. Uh, mm. Something is missing. Oh, it's a forest here. I'm gonna go for mushrooms. <sighs> Who's there? It's me, Glenn. Ah, are you here? Hello. I, in general, I'm ready to forgive you, but for this, you have to give me dinner. Do you want a steak? You offended me. Of course I want it. I've already marinated it. I'm just gonna pour some lemon juice and pour some salt. Wow. Dang, by the way, I've only got one window at my place. Sirigo went to the forest. Listen, I have an idea! What's the idea? A prank on Sirioga. You need to steal his pig zucchini and change it into... He's gonna go crazy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on before it comes back. Come here, Piggy. Piggy, come here. All right, so let's take it away. So you sit here. Meanwhile, we'll fry the meat. I didn't take the grill for nothing. Okay, I don't get it. And where's my pig? Zucchini! Guys! Guys, guys, have you seen Zucchini? He's gone. Oh, uh, so you mean you 
didn't take him for a picnic? What? 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 You took it? It's okay, Nate. Come on, Sirioga. This is a prank. I took two sticks with me. That's it. Your pig maybe is out, gone for a walk or something. Maybe to the forest. Look. Ah, uh, jokers, damn you! Chikini, where are you? <laughs> Chikini, where are you? I'll be looking for him like this for three hours. Has anyone seen him? Listen, while Sirio is not here, can we play with this mini pig? We'll train him. Let's go. So, baby, lie down and sit. Speak. Voice. Somersault. Ew. Show. Shake. Fetch. Walk. A walk is working. Guys. Oh, Sirio, look. We found your little zucchini. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank no you. No problem. Out. Guys, so the thing is, while I was in the forest, I was looking for zucchini. I heard some sounds like footsteps or breathing. I think it was a big wild beast or some kind of monster. What are you talking about? No, Sirio, we've gone so far away. There's like a fence, a protected area. There shouldn't be anyone here. I heard him trampling there, like breathing. Come on, relax, Sirigo. What monsters? Come on, let's have dinner. I've got your slice cooking right here. I'll bring the plates for you. Yeah, my soup is being prepared there too. Do you want fish soup, by the way? No, somehow I've never tried it. Vlad, have you ever had fish soup? Ever? Well, no, I don't like fish. To sum it up, Sirega, eat your soup yourself. We got steaks. Bon appetit, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Help yourself to cheese. Here you go. Mm -hmm. By the way, a cool idea about tree houses. Do you know where I saw it? Where? Subscribers wrote about it in the comments. They said, do those tree houses. In general, I love it when subscribers offer us ideas for videos. This is cool, you guys. And how many of these ideas have you already shot? Maybe 20? Yo. Yeah. Quiet, guys, Yo. do you hear that? It's the same sound I've heard in the woods. So, go home, go home. Guys, I didn't tell you the most important thing. When I built this house, I took care of my safety and I went ahead and installed a laser protection system here. Anyone who goes through is gonna get cooked. If anything, my neighbors know, so it's not dangerous for them. Therefore, I am completely safe. Oh. So, 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 what to do? How to protect ourselves? <gasps> so now, we had some unusual firewood down there. Here, there. So, I'm going to take a knife and sharpen the pegs on this side right here, and then I will do a really awesome defense of my house. Oh, it seems to me that this should definitely scare off the beast. Well, some healthy boar will definitely not climb up here. We need to fight with animals using the methods of hunters. And I have a trap for this and glue. This is a very strong glue and I'm gonna coat these two trees with it so that a predator who decides to crawl on them will stick and won't be able to crawl further. So this is the first tree. The second one is also smeared well. Okay, the trap is done. So that's it. I need to climb up and hide the ladder. Zucchini, I'm coming. <laughs> quickly, quickly. This is perfect. Safe, warm, and with electricity. What, what the heck is going on over here? What? The, the generator. The wire came off. This could not happen on its own. It's clearly been done with some help, which means my security system isn't working either. We need to go get the boys. Ooh. Yeah, open up. What are you scared of? Vlad, someone turned off my light there. The wires are cut off from the generator. So you have a camera right over there. Can't you see it? Perfect. Just perfect. I have everything duplicated on my phone. Now let's see. What the? Suryoga, Suryoga. Sergey. Suryoga, 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 Suryoga. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, the smell is here, of course. Come on, come in faster. We looked at Glenn's cameras, and there we saw that some monsters, the wires of Glenn, too, were damaged and cut. We need to isolate ourselves from him. God, well, what? it's a little crammed here, of course. It was definitely our piece, but it's some kind of monster. Therefore, we got to get rid of this ladder. Well, there are no options. At Sirioga's there, you can lift the ladder and no one will climb there. Come on, Sergei. Saw, saw. Come on, Sirioga. Well, what are you doing there for so long? Yeah, almost done. <laughs> Oh my god, did you he won't climb to, here. Did you see that? So, uh, do you hear the sound? Turn off the light, turn off the light! Let's follow him. I have binoculars. Okay, okay, I see. What? What's there? Monster! Guys, this is not a monster. Then what? This is a man dressed as a bush. Show me the bush. We fell for a really good prank. This is Kobiakov's costume from his pranks. He's already used it three times now. Is it a dog? Let's prank him too and catch him. I agree. 
Then why don't we just draw him in closer and grab him? Light the grill. Oh, what a delicious dish, Glentic. Where did you get such a recipe? This is a very secret recipe. Nobody knows about it. These are the most delicious sausages in the world. Guys, let me go and grab the sauces, okay? So, okay, cheers, catch up. Sidosh, wait, I'm with you. I'll take the secret drinks. I'm gonna go get the cups for the secret drinks. Super guys, I'm sure he fell for it. Uh, I wonder what they have there so delicious. Wow, yeah, we need to get closer and check just while they're gone. Hey, gotcha. Guys, this is just madness. Take a look. We tied him up. Do you all know why? Oh, you're going to be stunned right now. It was very unexpected because this is not Kabikov. <gasps> Glint. Oh, my head. Glint. Look what we are. Look at my clothes. Are we in jail again? Who is this? Kabikov? What happened to him? Did you see that? Dude, my head hurts. Look what happened to Kabikov here. Kabikov, uh, Kabikov, are you? Uh, oh, here's his pulse. Kabikov, Kabikov. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Guys? What is this? What's going on? We got somewhere. Apparently by our clothes, it seems that we are in prison. What's this on my face? It's a beard. I don't know how long you've been here. So how do I open this? Uh, but take the scissors. So, Kabikov, try to get up. Glint, how are you? It's fine. My head just hurts a lot. Guys, as expected, after the robbery of the house, we were put in this jail. And probably this prison has become even tougher, and it is more difficult to escape from it. My name is Vlade for Glint Kabikov. And today, we are shooting Escape from the Cardboard Prison, part two. So, you guys, we need to see what we have around here. Guys, I have this beard. What is this all about? I've never grown a beard before. It's very long. By your beard, I think that we can assume that we have been here for about six months. Or they just changed you somehow by surgery. And what kind of helmet is this? Some wires here. You guys, does anybody remember anything? I don't remember anything. Maybe they were pumping out our memory. Maybe they wanted to steal knowledge about other YouTube from us. Yeah, that's very valuable information. Kabikov, can you remember what you were thinking about when you were wearing this helmet? Yeah, guys, there is some kind of white room with white walls that were so soft, I almost lost my mind. Handcuffs, Kabikov, look for the key. We need to get free somehow. Come on, let's see what's here. All sorts of jars. Guys, there's no key to the handcuffs, but there's some kind of notebook. Do not forget the passwords and some formulas. <gasps> A solvent. I've got an idea. Vlad, come over here. Put your hands down. Let's use this formula to make a solvent and dissolve the chain from the handcuffs. He's a genius, Glint. So, what do we need? Soda. We have soda here. Vinegar. I'm so worried. Sprites need it. And pink slime. Pouring it in. Sprite. Two drops. You've overdone it, I think. Okay. Vinegar. It's written not to spare vinegar. Let's pour the soda. Put the chain here, and... Oh, just look at this here. I told you it would work. Glenn, no, come no, on no, over me, here. Me, me, me. Come on, and... Oh, Kobe Cobb, maybe they really have made you smart. I don't know. Let's take a look around here. There is a door here. Some kind of control unit, you guys. Mm, it doesn't work. As a tech blogger, I just want to say that it looks like a tablet. And maybe it just ran out of battery or something. What ideas do you guys have? Ah, oh, right, guys. Oh, is it charging? How did you carry it in? Well, I'll always carry it with me, and those cowards apparently they haven't checked this. So, there is a charger here for iPhone, for Android, and this is for a tablet. So, you guys, but there was no cue for charging. We need an outlet. What's here? It's an electrical panel. Only, I don't know what's what in here. In short, we need electricity. We will tear off the cable from there, which has electricity. Let's tear off this wire here, and we'll put it into the tablet, okay? Hey, this could really work. Can we go off scissors? Right. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Yeah, my favorite charger. For the sake of freedom. Okay. <sighs> Perfect. Glitch, now you have a wire, okay? Got it. Let's look for the duct tape. So there it is. <sighs> we'll put it together. <sighs> That's it. Now the charger. And come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yeah! It worked! It's charging! 
The tablet is on, but now we need the password. Do you remember this inscription in the notebook? Don't forget your password. Ah, but the problem is that there was no password here at all. So, or is it there something in there after all? Some small dots. I can't really see it. Guys, a microscope. So, a microscope. Now let's try to look at it here. Glint, glint! Yeah, what? I see the numbers. What? Enter, enter it. Seven, six. Seven, six. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. We got it. Try it. Let's go. Oh. Wow, you guys, I think I know what this is. Oh, this is evidence. This is the place where prisoners' belongings are stored. My stuff. What else is here? This here is a camera we are shooting with. Look what I found. They're new. Well, you guys, it's time to put your shoes on. Whoa, comfortable. Wow. So you guys, let's move on. There are paper briefcases here and I suggest you to put things in them. Maybe they will be useful to us during the escape. Let's go. So I'll take the super glue, plasticine, hmm, magnets. They may be needed. I'm gonna take all my stuff with me. I also see a white wire. You never know if you'll need that. Take it. Uh-huh. Oh, look, a shower cap. I've done this before. You never know what's gonna happen. So, damn, there's a cool set here. Circles, glasses, duct tape, glend, what's the key for? Figure it out. A swimming cap, and you guys, it's a treasure just look. Do you know what this is? A nah. microphone? It's a camera. You can attach this to your phone and then put the entire camera in any hole. This can come in handy in a cardboard prison. Vlad, this key opens the handcuffs. Opa. Oh, freedom. Ah. Wow, so there's also an iron here. Too heavy, don't take it with you. I'll take the USB wire with me and this hand drill here. That thing's awesome. I'm taking it. So, Blet, take our cameras. Here, it's yours. A button? What button? Do I press it? Uh, I don't know, Vlad, but we really don't have any other choice. Did the door open? <sighs> and that's it, just like that? It can't be. Well, all right, I'm off then. All right, Kobe Cop, let's go. Let's go. Oh, you guys! Vlad! Don't, don't open it, Vlad! The button doesn't work! You guys, apparently we've been separated! Dan, let's look for exit options! <sighs> well, you guys, I guess that means I'm going on alone. Alright, Kobe Cop, we gotta do something urgently. Dude, maybe you can just lift the door. <sighs> it's like titanium or something. Opa! There's a hollow wall here, as if there's something behind it. So, at first glance, I'm in some kind of a server room, I think. Just look, the internet is connected to this thing, so I'm going to, I think, ah, uh -huh. we have a problem here, you guys. Just look, this is a laboratory. Now it looks like this right here. It turns out that we didn't notice the video surveillance camera. You guys, I know what needs to be done. I've watched enough spy movies, and I need to find the file with this recording. Room wind it to the very, very beginning and install this image on all of the cameras, okay? A mega brain. So, opa, you guys, I found the hard drive here. Ooh, ooh. I think this is our salvation. Okay, let's go. It doesn't fit in here. And it doesn't fit in here. You guys, this is a MacBook. In the MacBook, there are these connectors. Uh-huh. Wait here, look what I've got in my bag. This is a camera on a shoelace, but it has an adapter like this. And that's just what I need. Oh, yes you guys, everything has worked out here. The files on my computer, just take a look. This is us, so I'm scrolling, scrolling to the very, very beginning and just like we've woken up. And now I've installed the camera, okay. Do you hear the footsteps? Apparently we're fine now. Whew, my heart almost stopped here. I did this all in time. Whew. So, some boxes? Glenn, here, help me. <sighs> okay, let him figure it out. I'll grab the edge. There's definitely something behind this wall. 
Yeah, there's definitely something there. We gotta get there. Kobiakov, what do you have? I've also found some kind of passage. I'll try to get through here, according to the good old tradition. Let's play that. Let's hop in. Oh, guys, we have washing machines here with clothes and socks. Now let's check if someone has washed these clothes or not. No, oh, they didn't, they didn't, I got it. We, principal, need to put it for wash because we want to make the life of these prisoners a little bit easier. Opa. All right, the machines are working. <gasps> Look what we have over here, a toilet. I wonder if it flushes or not. It is working. This is the same toilet as on an airplane or a train. When it pulls everything in, it sees. Let's check it out. Like that. Oh, wow, look at that. All right, guys, I want to completely clog the toilet now and then click on the flush button. We've already thrown in a ton of toilet paper, so let's see how this toilet paper can handle all of this. Oh, it's pulling it all in, look. Everything is clean. But that's not all. There's a door right behind you. And you know what? It is open. What did I say? Wow. So, where did I get to? Is this a real shooting range? Blasters. Cool. Oh, the door. A toggle switch. So, the toggle switch is not for the door. Okay, we'll deal with the door later. I actually have such a temptation to shoot at targets. I really want to shoot targets. Which blaster should I choose? So, I mean, so. Shot it! It's good that there's a mechanism here and you can move the targets. Now I'm gonna move this target towards me and see where I hit it. So, 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 so. The target is stop. What is this passage there? So, there are some rails, a car, it's some kind of an underground road. <gasps> There's a surveillance camera. It's good that I'm a good shooter. I'll cover the camera with this blaster. That's it. Now you can definitely climb into the tunnel. So you guys, he seems to have left, but we need to go check this out. I have a camera on a shoelace here. We'll return this thing back, and this is the screen from this camera, just see how it works. Here, and this is such a shoelace, imagine how far I can shove it to see what is inside, you know? So, in order to use this camera, I need to make a hole into which I will pop it, just like this. And in this, I will use the help of a hand drill. Now we will make the hole with the drill. The hole is ready. While well, you guys ready? Now we'll put the camera in. And, so what do I see here? It's a lover. Another lover. So, oh, <gasps> these are our photos. What are they doing there? Do you know what the most important thing is that I can see? That the guard is gone and I can easily sneak in there. So let's go, let's do it. Okay, the door is open, let's go. A guard. There's a button here. Most likely this button can start the train so it takes me to the end of the tunnel. Oh, let's go, let's go. So, well, that's probably an old system. Oh, I see some stairs there. Maybe this is the way out. Let's give it a try. Let's take our chances. Wow, you guys, we were not mistaken. We really got here because we ended up robbing a millionaire's house. But for real, what an injustice. The game was stolen from us. We just got our own back. Why were we put in jail? I think he's just bribed the police. So, what are these tapes here? Aha, uh -huh, they're all signed. And it says here, all of Kabikov's shit. Vlad A4 is cringy, and I really would destroy this. So, what is this? Whoa, this is in general insane. Jokes that were cut out on the montage. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna steal one of these tapes. Why one? Because the loss of one tape will definitely not be noticed. Now we need to choose Vlad A4 or jokes that were cut out on the montage. No, you guys. I think that I'll take the jokes with me because if this gets into the network, you know, then there will be so many cassettes with Vlad A4's cringe. No, 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 no. So what is this? This is an archive. Let's read what they have on all of us. So, can we go off? Well, everything is as usual. He cheated, he cheated, he cheated. And uh, I don't really know you guys, nothing really new. So let's see what they have on Vlad A4. 
So, so what is this? Look how many different papers there are in me. Whoa, a whole pile. Wow, it's definitely impossible for the prisoners to be here. Guys, this is a prison elevator. I don't know, does it work? Let's push this button over here. All right, let's see. Guys, the elevator is working. A cardboard elevator right now. Guys, this is a real elevator, and it's even possible to enter it, and it's not even known where it's gonna go. Should I press one of these buttons or no? Okay, Glent is not Glent if he doesn't take a chance. Let's go down. Oh, I don't like this anymore. Oh, we're off to somewhere. It's weird. Check out what's going on with the boys for now. So, some kind of a ladder, a very narrow space, there's some kind of a stick. I'll take it with me just in case. Damn, the guard. But he got the keys there and he's sleeping. I have magnets. Now I'm gonna take the magnets to this stick and get the keys out of him. I hope this design doesn't fail. Word! Oh, I have the keys! Damn, how cool is it? I have the keys that lock away anyway. Let's go back. The button. Let's go. Oh. Oh, it's like riding a really big roller coaster. Oh, whew. of course, adventures are crazy today, but I stole the keys from the card and they will fit this lock for sure. So this one doesn't fit, so maybe this one? It fits! Ah, uh, yes, yes, let's move on! Oh, what a surprise! So here is information about my mess ups and information about finances. So I'll take the information about finances here. And we'll leave the one about the mess ups. So what do we have on Glint? Is that... You guys, I leave a photo in front of me. Glint would give a million dollars to keep this picture off the internet. But it's so cool, you guys. I really want to show it to you so much. Let's make a deal. If we get one and a half million likes under this video, I will show it all to you guys. And I promise you that you really want to see this. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I hope that you have put one and a half million likes. Glint will just kill me for this photo. So are you ready? Ready? It's Glent in a diaper! How old is he? Why is he wearing a diaper? This is information is too dirty. Just don't tell anyone about it. Oh, there's a polar right here. I will make a couple of photos for memory so as not to forget this great moment. <gasps> what was that? So a picture is good, but you guys, when the flash has flashed, it seemed to me that something was painted all over the wall. So it seems to me some kind of paint is used here, which is translucent when flashed, so. Yes, I was right, look! This is an arrow up, and then right, and then down, and then left. And what are these levers for here? Maybe we should use the red lever? Okay, let's go. Up, right, down, left. Whoa, the door is opened. What do we have there? There are some pipes there. I think it's the boiler room. Let's go. Oh, wow. Guys, as I understand, this is some kind of warehouse. Everything is piled up here, and there's a huge pile of junk, and there's a continuation of this room, guys. This is not the end. We could definitely get somewhere through this path here, but the boxes are too heavy, and I just don't have the strength to move them all. So let's see if there's something here that'll help us move them. Some clothes, threads, wires. Oh, I found an inflatable ring, you guys. I have an idea about the inflatable ring. But for this, I need to find something else, okay? Uh, that's not it, a rubber band. Oh, this is a jackpot. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna insert an inflatable ring into this hole, connect a pump to it, and then we'll push the wall out with the pressure. Okay, so while it's deflated, it should easily fit in here. And then we'll turn it on. The pressure is working. A little more and the wall will definitely crack. Look, guys, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Balloon, I love you so much! 
so much. Let's go, you guys. Guys, there's some kind of tunnel here. Check this out. It looks like it's been chewed up by rats over here. And you know, it smells not very good here. Kind of like sewage. And there's no way back. <sighs> Let's go. I definitely didn't expect to see this here. Some kind of this. Oh, I know. It's for training. Like this. That's it. Some cups. Do you understand, Serioga? What is he doing here on the posters? Damn, Serioga, of course, is a mysterious man. Have you guys noticed? Okay, we'll do it later. What else is there here? Oh, boxing gloves. I've always dreamed of boxing. And most importantly, look what's here. A real boxing ring. Damn, I just want a box right now. So, okay, it's not time to have fun. We're still escaping from prison. Okay, there's a door here. There are no locks here. It's probably automatic too. How do I open it? I see the control panel. So, face ID. So the door only opens by face scanning. Hmm, let's try it. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So, Kobe Cove, you're smart. They turn your brains with these cords. Hmm, there's an idea. So... This looks like a real boiler room. Look, even the lights are flashing here, like in a boiler room. Oh, so let's see what's here. Are these likes, tennis balls, and subscriptions? And do you hear that? Silence. Do you know what sound should be in the boiler room? Like this. The mechanism should work. I think I've got it all figured out. The mechanism isn't working and nothing's flowing through the pipes. So let's try and turn them on. The likes are coming! So, subscribes. The mechanisms are working! Woohoo! Likes and subscriptions are flowing through the pipes right here, and I felt that the taps have been blocked, you know? The mood just wasn't the same. It's like summer, but it's cold outside. You guys, now just calm down and check the red subscribe button. What if it just didn't work for you? You need to make it gray. Just turn it gray. And also, don't forget to put some likes. Only your activity can make us warmer, you know? So you guys, what kind of pipe is this? Tennis balls. And why do they have to do with me after all? Let's check to see if it works. So why are there tennis balls here at all? There's a door here. And if it is, of course, closed. So, so think, 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 think. I have an idea. The tap is off. So let's try to remove the pipe. So, what if I point to the pipe with the tennis balls at the door, then turn on the tap, and the tennis balls come out of the pipe, just take out the door. Well, watch, are you guys ready? I think it should be fun. Three, two, and one. Oh my God. If the likes are flying at such a speed, then we will soon start releasing videos every day. Okay, you guys, that was awesome, so whew. Find that red subscribe button and click on that thing. We always go to the end with the boys and we're also gonna keep going until all of the red buttons turn gray. And at this time, I had a brilliant idea. Do you remember how I stored all of my stuff? It's a Ziploc bag, it's waterproof. And now I'm gonna show you what I wanna do with it. I'll take my things and stuff them into my briefcase. Now I'll close this thing up, a waterproof case. We'll take our Ziploc bag and now we'll put the briefcase in here. Sneakers will also be very useful. Everything's ready and I'm off. All right guys, now let's keep pushing just like you did with that subscribe button. I don't even know what to tell you. And it stinks, but it's so cool. Oh, my Ziploc. Okay, well right now I need to find a way out of here. Where is it, where is it? Oh, guys, apparently this is what I was looking for. I'm gonna take my things. Ah. Here's my dry clothes. I'm gonna change them right now. I'll be right back in a second. That's it, guys. I've already changed and I'm completely dry. It turned out very cool, so let's keep going. Whoa, I have littered a lot, you guys. 
but apparently it's even good because this is the garbage room. Just look, there are garbage cans here. There's also some garbage and garbage, a bucket of water. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, what's up? Where did you come out from? I was in the... Ew. Yeah, don't pay attention. I just got into a little bit of trouble, but it's all good now. So, Serioga, you've always helped me out in the most difficult moments. Oh, I think I hear the boys. The boys are very close. Let's not wait. Oh. It worked! Serioga, thank you! So, we need to go. Oh, guys! Oh, dude, speak of the devil. Ah, uh, Glenn, you stink so much. So where did you get this merch from? It's a long story. You'll see in the video. Okay, guys, we need to get out somehow. Uh-huh, and how do you like these bars? Glenn, try to open it. As usual, the bars are not open. Why are there so many tennis balls in here? Uh, yeah, that's a long story. Garbage. Well, there's a lot of it there. Uh-huh. All right, guys, we need to think about how we can get out of here. Now, what do we see around here? We see trash cans, buckets, fire detectors. Guys, what if we start a fire and crash the system? And what if the bars automatically open? In case of fire, does this usually happen? Does anyone have matches? You guys, I remembered something. I'm coming right now. What is it? You can throw an iron in there and start a fire. So, I see a socket. But you guys never ever do this ever. Only if you're in prison. So, let's just wait. Oh, it's getting warmer. Oh, oh it's working. It's guys, so guys, guys, guys. Oh, that was so bad. Look, that look, 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 look. Come on, detector, it's going. Come on, smoke. Oh, it worked. It worked, it worked. The grid is on, on guys. I'll put it out, come on, come on. You'll put it out? Awesome. So. Put it out. Freedom! Guys, we're finally free! Breathe in the air. <sighs> <sighs> Well, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this escape video. If so, please like this. And also, to be honest, I already want us to escape from somewhere again. So put us back in jail. Is this a hint to the third part? Well, I don't know. Well, you guys, I was with you. My name is Vlade Fork. Let's cough your cough. Bye-bye, everybody.